village must be further on. Someone there should be able to help us find Laurentius. Hugo. Hugo. That boy is soaking. Mummy won't be happy when she finds out I fell in the water. Well, let's not mention it when we see her, all right? Come on, first we have to get dry. Misha, why did they want to capture us? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. We'll ask Laurentius to take us to see Mommy and Daddy. Yes, of course. So this is where we start to sort of see what's happening as well. External to just them. There's something happening to everyone around here. I just want to take a look around. Like first time I went through this area, I just kind of went straight through. Don't want to be so linear. So you can kind of see that, you know, it's a bit of a ghost town. There are literally no nobody is out and about. Oh, Akis. You go not now. But don't touch them. They're all rotten. But I'm hungry. How can you think of food right now? Literally all all the fruit and vegetables are rotten. All the bread is covered in mold. Smoke. There must be a lot of people. This is a very cramped town. Excuse me. matter with them they look scared excuse me I'm the daughter of Lord Robert Darun we were attacked we need help please it's very cold then I'll let anybody in there. I'm with my little brother the Darun estate was attacked I'm begging you please help us we're wet and hungry what on earth is going on? Is anyone there? We need help. No one is going to let us in. See, this is the fishmonger. Even his goods are gone as well. Please, somebody help us. Go away. You're not wanted here. But I'm... I'm your lord's daughter! How about a sense of loyalty? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and they're not even responding to the pleas and the helps of the lord's daughter and son. It could be that the Inquisition came already. I told you we need to leave! And go where? Who's there? We'll come back later when things are better. Maybe the Inquisition have already been and have said that the family of Derune is cursed. This is a possibility. Because it is talked about. Someone's drawn something on the doors. Oh boy. That means there are sick people in these houses. Don't touch anything. Oh, they're not allowed to go outside. It's more serious than that. It means that we could catch their illness, so stop running around. Alright, sorry. Yeah, that's that's the bad that's the badness. There's a lot of it. The village is contaminated. That's why everyone's hiding. I can smell something cooking. Is it a fair? It doesn't sound like a fair. It's very much not. <gasps> Good lord. They're burning the sick or those who they think are responsible. Go get help. Well, I'll be 
rest of them. What? No! Wait, we're just looking for someone. And you found him. It's your damn music what brought them out, huh? Those dirty vermin that invaded our church. That filth would attack our children in their beds and gave them the black thing. But now you've found Conrad Malfour. And I'm telling you, this is the last village you'll infect. Amicia! Come on! There we go. What doesn't help is that perhaps what he's talking about is that the vermin uh, probably came from the Darun estate. Not the estate itself, but the forest that the Darun estate is in. All's quiet. He's going to see us. Don't move. We'll have to wait until wait. they show themselves. Then we'll get him. What's that racket about? Let's attract him down to those pots and pans and we can slink past him. This is how sort of simple it is to get around. But it can be very tricky later. This is just a villager. You need to watch that indicator on his head. While it's white, his attention is grasped, but it will That's it. slowly Nothing. lower. Nothing. We showed him. We could be on the run at the moment. Not that way. Where are we going? Come on, just run as fast as you can. There, the wall. They're coming. Over you go. should never have come here. Why are they doing that? They think we have brought evil with us. We have to find a way out of here. There we go. So we're at one of the puzzles right now. Uh, let's push it. All right. Use the left stick to push and pull, but you use the right stick to determine what direction it will go in. Good. We can climb onto it now. So these villagers are very angry right now. So they think that the Darun legacy is what's caused the black thing as that knight in the middle of the in the middle of the burning called it that Conrad Malfour. It makes a noise, right? Do you have a better idea? <laughs> Let's push this. Right. Oh. Come, I'll get you up. You learn a little bit of Comrade Malfour as we move forward. The kind of thing, the thing is, is that a lot of the characters that you see are not always how they are right now. Well, we got to This is the morally grey part of it all. If they don't find us again. But you have your sling, you can protect us. It's not that easy, Hugo. Oh. Outsiders! Oh no, quickly, quickly! This time. The ladder, go and climb, you first! It doesn't look safe for me, Sia. We're running out of time, they're coming! Break. No, no. There we go. And we just take our exit here. You go. Where are you going? Don't leave me. Amicia, come here. This side. There you are. I found this, so you can climb up. Well done. I'll get it to fall. Watch out. Not sure if it's totally required to stay hidden at this point, but it helps in most of the situations. I'm sorry about the ladder. It's my fault. You were right. We need to go home. We can't. Not without the Rentius. Okay. We are headed this way. Amicia, hide. Well, where the hell are they? Come. We, we've surrounded the area. They were here a few minutes ago. The two of you surrounded the whole area? Get out of here! Cool boy. lost his mind when his kid died. We have to burn innocent people? Chase kids? 
Meanwhile, the plague spreads through the village. You think it's normal to have a girl and a kid running around here with the things the way they are? I bet they came out of the church with the rest of that scum. So, oh, nope. Sit. I just wondered to what scum he refers. They're saying something came out the church. There we go. So we need to distract this guy. And use one of the pots to do that. And we're going to throw it into this area over there. We need to go left. What the hell was that noise? Take the pot behind us. It's always good to see if you don't necessarily need the ammo that's around you. Maybe you can use something you already have. Oh, no, not again. Uh oh. Yeah. And then you can pick up the ammo that is around you to reload. Sounds of it, they're inside. So you can kind of see that in a lot of situations you're going to have to rely on Hugo. Come looking for you here. You're soaking. There are clothes you can change into upstairs, in a chest in the bedroom. Ah, uh, are you sure? Thank you. Finally, just a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Okay, so we're gonna go change. Because as she, as the old lady has noticed, we're still soaking wet from the river. And something that's keen to point out. Incense. It smells like... Incense and herbs. Alchemists know it, and the people are beginning to suspect it. Evil does not exist only in the bodies of infected people. It also travels around them. People start blaming the air, the stench of which indicates the presence of miasmas and therefore of disease. So to ward off the great evil, the air of the contaminated place is purified by burning herbs, at the risk of burning down the whole neighbourhood. Mother used to use it. So they're using herbs even though... They're burning herbs even though their homes are built from mostly wood. Very little stone at this point. That's what he means by the risk of burning down whole villages. What about you? We have to go and find Mummy Amicia. Uh, not yet. She told us to find Laurentius. But that's silly. We're going to get caught. Hugo, we're going to do what she told us and that's it. Hugo, wait. you got to remember he is just a little child. Doesn't really understand anything that's going on. Really, neither does Amicia. Good. They belonged to my grandchildren. Oh, my, my name is Claire V. I'm Amicia, and this is Hugo. Say thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Claire v, what is happening here? The, the plague. So many people are dead, and those still alive have... But where are your parents? At home. They're waiting for us. 
We're looking for a doctor, Laurentius. A doctor? Perhaps a, a man did come and help at the hospice early on. The monks might be able to tell you more, but... What? They haven't been seen recently. No one goes near the church anymore. It's all we have. We must go and see. You'll die there. But no one listens to old Clary anymore, so... Anyway, I see you have a sling. You're going to need it. But it'll be no use to you in that state. Go to the backyard. You'll find some new strips of leather there. And feel free to use the workshop in the next room for your repairs. So there are, there are crafting materials and you can improve the gear that you're wearing, uh, how much ammunition you can carry, and uh, the potential of your sling as well. So you have to be on the lookout for tools and items such as leather, uh, sulfur, alcohol, anything. There's a bit of a clue of something that might happen later. Come on, keep calm and concentrate. Okay, so hitting enemies in the head will kill them instantly. While repairing her sling, Amicia takes the opportunity to change some of the material that improves the speed of her projectiles, making headshots lethal. That's much better. With the right materials, I could improve it even more. There you go, so you also have your pouch, your pockets, ammunition bag, and what I believe is saying at a rail, at real, it's the leather that you're wearing. You can improve it to make dodging and sneaking less noisy at the same time, though not had any troubles with it. Ah, uh, so? <laughs> it's a lot better. Thank you, Clevy. Thanks for everything. So that's where you lost them. Yes, Shh. they won't survive long around here if you ask me. What on earth are you doing? Put that mallet down. Are you stupid or what? I am not stupid. Don't shout. Children, that's enough noise. I want to see Mummy. Shut up. You're going to get us killed. Mummy will protect us. That's enough. I want to see Mummy. Mummy is dead, Hugo. You'll never see her again. Or Daddy. Amicia. You, you're lying. They were killed at the house. Both of them. So shut up. Lying. Lying. I hate you. Please stop. Hugo, no! Hugo, wait! Not the smartest move I would have made, but hey-ho. Hugo, come back! Gonna chase after. He moves. He's pretty spry for a little kid. He's very fast. The weather is about to take a very shy turn to. Hugo! I shouldn't have shouted. Please listen to me. No, leave me alone. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah. No, no, no. Let him go. So that's where you were. No, wait. We just want to leave. You will leave, yes, and never come back. Please, no. <laughs> I didn't want to. Amicia! Amicia! Hugo! I'm... I'm coming! So you can literally see how she responds to killing something, or someone. Feeling this one's not gonna listen. When my son came back from the church. He was crying. That's when I saw the wound on his leg. The bite. Let go of me. I and here we are at that specific church. Kill the demon. You're not gonna put me in the. I'm gonna start with you. Why do you have no, to come please. here? Please. 
Why? Don't fight me. You can see these little hooks on his back. You have to aim for them. But I missed. Just a bit rusty. Very rusty by the looks of it. Ah, oh, got one. There we go. Please, no. I don't want... Let us go. Too late. You kind of want him to take swings at you. You're a slippery one. One hits all it takes. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. There's no doubt about that. There we go. I can use that to my advantage. I'm not scared of dying, you know. You took away from me the only thing I had. No, don't make me do that. Keep it up. Only death will stop me. One of us is going to die. And the winner will be cursed. Oh, God. Damn it. Yeah, I know. I got greedy. You have to make every shot count. There is plenty of ammunition around. The annoying thing is, is that we want him to take swings at us. And he won't swing until he gets close. Oh boy. Yeah, I threw away all my stones. Yeah, just that. <laughs> Did all that. <laughs> Amicia. You you killed him. It's not looking good. But as Conrad Malfour was saying, you know, he wasn't always like that. He did used to be uh, an honourable knight. 